Woman finally discovers horrifying secret her boyfriend was hiding for over 30 years. Love is blind, and while that's true for most couples, it turned out to be a brutal eye-opener for a teacher called Candy Williams. In 1987, Williams was on a Florida beach when she met Jovan Collier and soon realized he was the one for her. After dating for three months, they moved in together and eventually started planning for marriage. They had so much in common, both had suffered a nasty amount of pain and tragedy in their lives. It was time for a new start, or so thought Williams. Collier, according to Williams, was an orphan as his parents were killed by a drunk driver in a car accident. After settling down with Williams, Collier decided to mend his ways with his estranged daughter, Nicole, who was happy her father was finally getting his life back on track. Not long after, Collier declared that his parents, who were killed in a car crash, were his adopted parents and that he had finally gotten in touch with his biological mother. Everything was story-like in Williams' life. But in 2008, Collier stated that he no longer wanted to see his mother because she didn't like his relationship with Williams. This was nothing but lies that Collier weaved when he realized that his mother started having doubts about him. A private detective called Robin Martinelli was hired to verify Collier's background, but no one was prepared to uncover his gruesome past. To start with, his real name was Peter Zimmer, and during his childhood he lived with his adoptive parents Sally and Hans Zimmer, along with his 11-year-old adopted brother Perry Zimmer in Mineral Point, Wisconsin. Then in 1983, the police saw the most gruesome scene in the Zimmer house. The family had been brutally murdered. Sally was killed with a knife, Hans was shot five times, and Perry was stabbed more than 25 times. Peter was absconding, naturally becoming the prime suspect behind these murders. Peter didn't deny the charges after he was arrested and was tried as a juvenile, sentenced to four years in the Ethan Allen School for Boys. After his release in 1987, Peter claimed his inheritance from the Zimmer estate and changed his name to Joven Collier. Then in 2009, Williams broke up with Collier, not because of the gruesome past that she knew nothing about, but because she saw his recent profile on an indecent dating site. Williams was in trouble. Apart from sending offensive emails, Collier sent a dead piglet through mail to Williams. He publicly threatened her with a knife, prompting Williams to take out a restraining order against her. Soon, Williams received an email stating that Collier had killed himself. To confirm this, she spoke to Collier's biological mother, and that's when she discovered Zimmer's gruesome past. Zimmer was arrested in 2009 but released again in 2012, only to brew more trouble in Texas. After moving to Texas, Collier started harassing women he was in relationships with, prompting one of them, a 43-year-old Shannon O'Neill, to have him arrested and jailed for three months. Till now, no one has heard anything from Peter Zimmer.